Three, two, one. <laughs> Cold reset gaming. <coughs> it's for your nose and your mouth and your lungs. Holy I butter say. nut sacks! Granola bars are awesome. Butter it's... nut <laughs> butter nut sacks. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Holy oh. reset gaming, it's for your mouth. We're headed back to the underground corruption in search of more adamantite. Did we make anything at all no. with what no. we had? Why? Because uh -huh. if you can't make a full set of adamantite, then it ain't friggin' worth it. Good point. Where is that, oh. this, uh, room of doom? I don't know. The doom room? That's the toilet. <laughs> Farts are funny. Closet. Farts are funny. Um, That's I don't why know, the down a little bit farther. one of the greatest no. items ever. I swear I saw some adamantite over that way. Before we, uh, decided to mirror... Over which way? To Does the right. Does anybody have any more Spelunker potions? Uh, I, think it was just I have one. I have one as well. Oh, no! Whoa. There it is. Ah, the room. Yes. Yeah. The room of doom. Wow, did you see that grapple? <laughs> What, mine? No, mine. It's ridiculous. When should we use the Spelunker potions? Now. Yeah? Yeah, because I just, I swear I saw some just over here. Oh, hey, guess what? Guess what I have? What? Let's start fixing the world. All right. We want unicorns, not corruptors. Yeah, because corruptors suck ass. I got All top. Right. I got bottom. Mid is failing. Is this lol? There's no that the thing that is that. I see. Did I like completely copper. fail? I see copper. Did I completely fail? I, I swear. Know, Fuck it. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Damn Sloth. Copper. What? You should I, not be where you are. But there's adamantite down here. Oh, god damn it. It's not a lot. Did you find the stuff I saw? I don't know what you saw. I saw stuff. Where's the adamantite? Right by the lava? Oh, no! That's copper. That's, copper. that's copper! You friggin' tarred face. Shut up. You know they named Doctor Who shipped a ship after you. That's not nice. <laughs> Tardis. <laughs> that's not nice. I don't like you anymore. I don't like you any less either. Ooh, ooh. Get it! Get it! Kill it! Oh no! There's a lot of things over here! <laughs> Kill all of the things. Oh, that's a nice chunk of adamantite right here. With a corruptor and a fake eater. Souls. Woo! Crystal Ooh. hearts. We like crystal hearts because they go to the bank. Yep, see there's some adamantite this way too. Yeah? Yeah. That's, well, there's copper there, but that's... Who gives a shit? I give shits. I it's take better shits. better than taking shits. So, I actually had some thoughts that I wanted to get off my chest and into my microphone, which yeah. then is recorded by my yeah. my fraps, microphone. which is then rendered with a video and then put into Dropbox and then posted by Sloth, which right. is then played on YouTube and then brought directly to our fans. Correct. I don't know why I just took, like, way longer to explain that than I needed to, but I did. Because you suck. Anyways, I kind of wanted to take an opportunity <laughs> to have sort of a virtual obituary for... Uh, this game we're currently playing. Yeah. Um, I, w I don't want to say it's sad, because it's not. Because I think everyone got their money's worth. No matter what you paid for it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Or how I many mean, copies you bought. Yep. <laughs> how do you feel about the end of this game? Uh, about how do you feel about uh, Red Digit just being like, yo, I'm out. I'm going to spend time with my family. I well, I know when uh, 
I mean, I understand, you know, being a parent and everything, but, you know, the first thought in my head when I, you know, when I was having kids, it's like, oh my god, I have to work more. I need more money. <laughs> trap, trap. Thank god it was a dirt trap and not an explosion trap. We got there. Just shut up. Just stop mentioning that. Seriously. But... No, because if that was an explosion trap, we were both dead. Is there any more adamantite this way? I don't see any. No, but we've yeah. hit a cavern. Anyways, back to Terraria. Um, I think, like, I don't blame, uh, you know, Redigit for deciding it was time. You know? I, I don't think that, uh, or at least it shouldn't have shocked anyone. Like, nobody should be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they only spent this much time on this game and they only gave this much to this game they gave a lot considering what you paid for it i mean yeah there's not as much content as a assassin's creed 3 or a mass effect 3 or every other game that ends in 3 because nobody knows how to make an original franchise anymore um <laughs> no there wasn't there wasn't as much content there but you didn't pay 60 dollars for it and then get assaulted with day one dlc and Right. Or any DLC, for that matter. You didn't have to pay for anything extra. You paid your 10 bucks, or 5 bucks, or 250 if you were really fortunate. Or, or free. got a copy from us. <laughs> yeah, or got a copy from us, or any of the other many awesome people who, uh, oh, you know, uh, uh, who gave it away. And, you know, like, I think the amount of value you got was, was great. And I, I think the biggest thing I really want to kind of... Uh, I'm going to say thank Redigit for is not just making a great independent game, but making a great indep uh, a, a great side scroller. Because yes. uh, not a lot of this people is the know. Tasty stuff that we love. By the way, my Splunker potion's out, and I don't have yeah, any more. Yeah, so is mine. Um, I see Cobalt. Going. Ooh, there's Mithril back this way. Well, I have zero more Spelunker potions. Same here. Uh, because this is my last one. Not a lot of people know any of our like gamer origins, and if people were interested, we'd probably divulge that information. But I'm not gonna be pretentious to just make a video and say, "Oh, this is what I started playing," because obviously all of you are interested in me. But <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. pretend to be that pretentious. But uh, well, then just be that pretentious. Well, but one thing is that I have, I've side-scrollers, uh, you know, especially the old-school ones, but uh, are, hold a very close place to my gaming heart. You know, Mega Man, Ninja Gaiden, Castlevania, the original Mario games, and uh, Metroid, and probably a bunch of others I'm not remembering. Come on! Fucking die! Okay. Anyways. Uh, oh, that dude took off almost half of my health. <laughs> Two shots. Excuse me. And I just yeah, think it's awesome that, that you know, their side scrollers are still getting made and still. Um, that's you know, why I think. At least that's mildly why I relevant. think that uh, Starbound's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, I, yeah, I'm that. I am very encouraged by I I still don't know what it is. I know it's a side scroller, and I know there's uh, let's put it light this way. mechanics. That's all when I know I make, about it. When I make a server, hold on. There's a. Um, when I make a server, it comes with, like, worlds, and you travel worlds, and we can have, like, our own home planets if we choose. So it comes with, like, a galaxy. Basically. So, okay. um, I mean, does it seem like a Terraria 2.0? I'm asking. I don't... No, no, absolutely not. This is... No, it's like... I don't even know if you're gonna know what game I'm talking about. It's like Terraria meets Captain Blood. Yeah. For whatever reason, I feel ashamed that I don't know what that is, but I don't know what that is. Commodore Amiga. Oh, yeah, that was... I've been a PC gamer for a very long time, but not that long. <laughs> I came in in the pre-Pentium era. Hey, uh... Hey, I used to play Redneck Rampage. That was, like, my first game ever. Bubba, is that you? <clears throat> oh, no, Jazz Jackrabbit. That was the... Wasn't that the Acer? Acer. I do remember 
uh, a game I probably shouldn't have been playing when I was young enough. Leisure Suit, Le- Leisure oh, Suit God, Larry. Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, King's Quest. What was your first? What was your first FPS? Wolfenstein. I legitimately played Wolfenstein 3D when it came out. Legit. It hurts it for uh, Redneck Rampage, like I was saying. That was your first FPS? Yeah. I mean, I played some of the, you know, the 525s of Mine was like, also Ghostbusters. By the way. Yours was what? Also Wolfenstein. Yeah. Uh, There's a cavern over this way. Uh, uh, Commander Keen. There's a... Oh. I was a real Damn big it. arcade game till the mid '90s player. I really didn't mess around with computers until later. Uh, yeah, Commander Keen, the original Duke Nukem, and I'm not talking about Duke Nukem 3D, the FPS. No. I'm talking about Duke Nukem, the side scroller. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> made by, uh, uh, it came free with the Gravis oh. gamepad. That's some old school shit right there. Um, jeez, what were so obviously like Doom is an obvious one. Um, yeah, Wolfenstein and Doom were the first, my first FPS game. Heretic. Okay, you know what? The, we this conversation spawned because we started talking about Terraria, which is a two D side scroller. Yeah. Favorite side scrollers. Uh, I think favorite you... old school side scrollers, and I already know your number one. Yeah, Mega Man. I already yeah, Mega Man. Yeah. Specifically two. You know, I've actually gone back and or played you three. On a toss up between two and three. Well, and X. <laughs> Mega Man X is really, really yeah. fucking good. <laughs> the only thing is that for whatever reason, as good as the music and stuff is on Super Nintendo, I just for whatever reason, the actual original Nintendo music for like just resonates more. I don't know why. It just yeah. does. Like, though, don't get me wrong, like, the music in Mega Man X and, like, Super... Like, I don't know, I think it was just... The Super Nintendo, and especially the Genesis was gu- guilty of this, uh, was they were trying to make higher fidelity music than they really should have been. Right. So it kind of sounded really synthy. Whereas the NES was like, okay, like, this is what it's going to sound like. Let's just do the best with beeps and boops. And it, right. I don't know, I, it just kind of... It, it's kind of the difference between, like... It, oh, dude, you just scared the shit out of me <laughs> dropping down here like that. I was trying to go off to the side. Oh, um, Mithril. I think a good analogy between them would be, like, uh, which would you rather have, like, in the, like, the PlayStation N64 era? Would you want, like, the best side-scroller ever made? Which, I guess a really close candidate for that would be Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Super or Mario, yeah. or would you want kind of weak, even though it was new, a weak 3D game, which a lot of people are going to chat my ass for, like Mario Galaxy or Ocarina of Time. I know a lot of people love those games, and I didn't. Okay, because yeah. to me it was Dude. like, <clears throat> we're going to make 3D, and the camera's going to suck ass, and it's not going to be fun, because you won't know what the hell you're looking at half the time. Yeah, I think I just found some anime type. It's kind of the difference oh, between yeah. which game do you think had better graphics, Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy VII? Seven was 3D, but it looked like hell. Shitty, yeah. Six was the pinnacle of sprites. Hey, here we go. So, More yeah, power. it was sprites, but it was the best you could ever do with sprites. So. Yeah. What is that shit down there? By that red torch. Oh, that's lava lighting. Okay. Mithril and cobalt next to each other. I don't know why I'm, like, stuck on collecting all this cobalt up here. But I, uh, I, I kind of prefer the spriting. Like, ever since, like, the Super Nintendo era, like, the, the top-end spriting in that, like, oh, the first was, thing that was, comes to mind is, like, Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, like, Chrono Trigger. Instinct. See, I was never, like, I, I was into fighting games only for, like, the Street Fighter 2. Oh, hi. Dude, uh, I remember sitting at the arcade waiting for a half an hour in line to play Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition. <laughs> oh, dude, all you had to do was go to the frickin' bowling alley and you could play it. <laughs> I'm talking when it first came out. 
Oh, when yeah. the stand up arcade first came out, it was literally a half an hour wait in line to play. Oh, dude, and it, dude. Mortal Kombat 3. The original Mortal Kombat. I remember going to Celebration Station specifically to play Mortal Kombat. Aled's Castle. I don't know what those names mean to a lot of people that are listening. Probably, probably nothing. But um, if it does mean something to anybody, then that just means that they're actually in the area. And that's kind well. Of no, I think there was probably like Aladdin's castles, yeah, and, and sure shit, like Aladdin's. around the Midwest at least. I, I'm just guessing, just spitballing here. Oh, what's up, Cavern? New in hell. information has come to light. Oh yeah, we're in hell. Well, that's fine. We should just come right here and just go horizontal. We should find tons of adamantite. Yeah, sounds good. Like, that's exactly kind of what. what yeah, <laughs> like that sounds exactly like what I'm doing. Does that mean I'm smart? Yes, it does. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I just I, I enjoy the fact that a side scroller can still resonate, even because like, much like a lot of the viewers in our for our channel, a lot of people who play Terraria are a lot long, a lot younger than we are. Yeah. And they love this game. And it's a side-scroller. And I didn't know that could happen. I yeah. didn't. Like, I know there yeah. were still side-scrollers out. Like, I know about I knew about Cave Story. But I assumed everyone who played Cave Story, Cave Story was also someone who played the original Metroid when it came out. So, uh... The best, the best Super Nintendo us. game that never yeah. came out is what they're calling it, right? Pretty much, something yeah. Like that, yeah. Um, and, yeah, uh... I have a feeling there's something in these walls. Oh! Hey, look at that. But uh, but it, it's really cool seeing like you know a lot of younger people having Terraria resonate despite the fact that it's a side scroller which was long ago called a dead medium. I think that's really right. cool, and I think that I think it speaks fr to a like a, a generational thing. Like good games are still good games. Nothing right. nothing necessarily go becomes extinct when it comes to this. And and second of all, it's a real testament to Redigit. For, you know, like, I'm not sure if it's a test of... I'm not sure which is more important. The fact that... Hey, guess what? Hmm. Tim. <laughs> oh! Wizard Hat! Nice! That is actually the first time I've ever seen him in this game. Boink. Uh... The, uh... Like, Holy I don't... enemies! Good lord! I bet you were gonna be like, what? <laughs> like, hey, Tim... <laughs> What like? But back to my previous point, I don't know which was more important, or, or uh, yeah, I don't know which was more important. The 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 fact that uh, can gamers still enjoy side scrollers, or did Redigit do such a good job that yeah. it didn't matter? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know which was a bigger deal. Well. To be completely honest, I think this game had a huge boost from the Minecraft community. Oh, it certainly did. It most certainly did. Uh, not just from the Minecraft community, but people who were just... Like, there was a lot of people who liked Minecraft, but didn't necessarily want to create their own adventure, which is what right. you kind of had to do. And Terraria, most certainly, like, you could still do a lot of the things you do in Minecraft, like sandboxing. Not completely. I mean, you are missing an entire layer of detail, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, an entire dimension. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but you're given things to do, and I think that's I think it was pure genius on uh, Relogic's part. I think it's yeah. awesome that Notch was like, "Oh, cool, whatever." I got some ideas I'll rip from them. It's all good. <laughs> kind of a backhanded. Well, yeah, but then it's also cool because you see all the indie developers start uh, promoing each other promoting mm -hmm. each other like the the minecraft start screen said uh also try terraria yeah, yeah. Uh, that was you know which is cool because i mean that that's how big things start just everybody promotes and and like nowadays everything is so word of mouth like nobody everybody talks to their friends now they're like hey is this good is this good is this good and just the way that things work anymore as I take a drink of coffee. Crystal Storm is cheating sometimes. I'm willing to admit. 
silver. I don't know. I'm definitely encouraged by uh, Starbound. It's called Starbound, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm definitely encouraged by it. It certainly looks nice. But when, again, when it's, I don't know anything about it. Uh, when there's more information or stuff to test, I'm definitely going to want to get in on that. Do you guys have any adamantite? Yeah. 47. I have 35. Okay, because I have 14. So that was the, uh, was that the long-winded thank you relogic? Yeah, pretty much. Game? Yeah, it was, yeah. I, I just, you know... I, uh, and I guess there was rumors that, oh, I can't remember the name of the company. That w was Gas Lamp Games. Gas, Gas Lamp, yeah, the ones who made that roguelike Dungeons of Dreadmore, right? Yep. Um, you know, I guess there's rumors that they're going to take it over, and if they do, that's cool. I doubt that's going to that happen. Just, yeah, no, that was just a tweet that they sent to Reload. They're serious, but he had said that he, he likes the game as it is. Yeah, he doesn't want to hand it off and have somebody change it. He wants it to be his, you know, it's his creation, and he wants it to stay that way. And, you know, good for him. That's totally his prerogative. Yeah. Again, I don't feel cheated. I don't feel like, no. oh, no. how dare he? Like, we should have at least, like, three more expansions, no, right? No. Oh, well, I think the biggest complaint about it was that uh, 1.1 was, like, the first major patch and they promised much more to come, and then all of a sudden he's like, hey, you know, I got another kid on the way. I'm just going to call it here and move on to other projects after I spend some time with my family. Definitely is going to make me want to buy more indie games. Because yep. I swear to God, I'm really sick of the EAs of the world. Spoiler alert, I'm going to make a lot of e videos talking shit about game companies. That's one of the things <laughs> I kind of want have wanted to do for a while. Uh, I am out of torches. I've been out of torches for a long time. I have 48 left. Well, Lottie frickin' da. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Holy no balls. Nice. And, and there's, there's some in lava, lava over there. Yep. I think we'll gather this and head home. I think we should go towards that lava stuff. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I want to go over here. I have no light, though. Oh, I'm confused. Come on. Anything down there? I'm having a look. Oh wow, that's a pretty nice chunk of adamantite here. Holy hell yeah! Holy balls! Drop some torchlight and I'll get this. Because I can't see anything. <sighs> oh, there we go. I just took a night owl potion. Okay, hers. You're going to want to get out of there. That's a mimic up there, I think. Hold on. Let me uh, let me do yeah, this. Yeah, that is a mimic. You going to drain it down to there? Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right. We'll do this then. Oops. 
Oh. Um. That's gonna be a lot of lava draining down there. Yeah, you may wanna. Well, it's, it's not gonna raise any higher where I'm at. Well, no, but you put down corrupted stone, did you not? Yeah. You oh, just created a whole gonna, yep. lot of hurt. Yep. Wait, why? Because it spreads. Oh. I have to pick it back up. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna mirror from where I'm at. I mean, well, I'm, I'm killing this mimic. Right now, right? Oh, are you trying to get to it? <laughs> and I'm kind of screwed where I'm at because uh, that's fine oh shit what careful oh he, how'd he get down there cobweb <laughs> wow well guess what you, oh wait is the mimic oh is the mimic in the lava yeah Sloth, keep digging to the side, because there's your spiky cross necklace. Yeah? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yep. Get as close to the lava as you can there, Sunny Gem. Yep. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> What's the spiky cross necklace do? It adds more... Um, what it does is it adds more... Um, it gives when you... When you get hit. Yeah, the invincibility that you get when you get hit. Ah, right. It lengthens it. Increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. Alright, I'm surrounded by lava. Plus 2%. Yeah, I'm, this... I'm just going to mirror. We have yeah. plenty of stuff on us, and our inventories are probably totally jacked. Wow, that was a long, like, philosophical discussion about video games. Hey, fuck it. It was not our usual... Idiot yes. Yeah, we it took a it. serious kind of we took a serious note. Yeah. Well, yeah. while we're doing this, let's talk about what games we want to play because I mean, like I found my old copy of Diablo One. <laughs> I I want to I want to relive that before before the new one comes out. I've just been playing what you know what I have here. I'm playing Terraria, playing Minecraft. I don't know. I've I've been looking at my legends. I've been looking at my library and I've been thinking of doing some single player stuff here and there. I'm not sure what people want to see though. Hint hint comment section. Uh, Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. Part of me wants to just run around and do some Skyrim shenanigans here and there. Um, I don't know. Part of me wants to play some old school shit. Blood oh, Moon. Blood Moon. Wonderful. Yay. Should we end it? Yeah, I guess so. Hold your sick gaming. It is for your nostrils. And your mouth. And your mouth, I guess. And your butt. And Sloth's butt. What, um, what in the butt? Uh, don't die. <laughs>